Tyler One. Welcome to the show. <coughs> I have to tell you something. Something very, very important. And it's good that you know this, but a lot, a lot of people don't. We're not here to talk about hierarchies or anything crazy like that, although we could. You know, why don't we talk about hierarchies for one second? All of it. Clout. <laughs> Just the funniest hierarchies like likes, clout. Everyone thinks, oh, uh, the, the unbeatable competition, you will never win. All right, is, is clout wealth, of course, but uh, yeah, clout is like the latest one. That's what we grew up on, is getting introduced to this idea. Social status, social material wealth, the social status realm, whatever that even means, having followers, having likes. You had a girlfriend who has 200 followers, marry her. 17K? Nope. Ah, get out of there. Uh, uh. Maybe it's just the sad truth. We are ill-stricken with this idea that we got to put a dichotomy on people. If people have to be different, right? That means some people are worse than others. You know, it doesn't matter if you're not enjoying your time. It doesn't matter if you got 200 followers, 17K followers. What matters is how much you enjoyed your time. What you did with your time. Did you put goodness into this world? And I don't know who needs to know that lesson here today, but probably one of you has. One of these suckers in the audience who needs to know. It's not about the money, it's not about the wealth, the relatable status. It's not about your horoscope. You don't need to dictate people's behaviors and entire whatever they are just based on a subcategory of a dichotomy hierarchy. Anyway, today we're going to talk about Lol Tyler 1. We're going to talk about you. Look. Well, Tyler One, I wanted to talk to you about something called Twitch chat, Twitch chat vampirism. Because nobody's perfect. I mean, a guy like me, I'm certainly not perfect, but for someone like you, it's tough. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It's all fun and games in the beginning. You're like donning your coat of thick skin and going into this world, as you do. And that's good to do. You should always do that. But, uh, you know, sometimes it does become a bit too much. Maybe I'm hitting the right chords with you right now. Maybe I'm not. But I'd say if I was in your shoes, I'd feel the exact same way I'm currently describing. They want to make you feel good. So when it's the joke to make fun of old Tyler One, that's the joke. They're going to make fun of you. They're going to do it endlessly. That's all they know how to do. Grasping at rocks like cavemen. Twitch chat. Spark a ignite a flame reaction within lol tyler one then i get my fill but sometimes they carry it on it goes on for months i don't even know how long it's been going on for you but i say it's tough it's tough to be you i would not want to be in your shoes because it is it's good you know to be able to laugh at yourself is important you know self-deprecation is is good to an extent you know too much self-deprecation can really run circles on the mind so i'd just be saying if you know, any Twitch blokes, any streamers feel this exact same way. Maybe you get pigeonholed into a position where it doesn't really stop. You don't want to let in all that mean stuff. You don't have to. I know it's like kind of fun, fun and games, you know, toxic gamer, number one in all of North America. Uh, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes there are times when, you know, this is your lifestyle to stream every day. That's what you chose to do. And whenever it doesn't treat you right, it's a nasty thing to witness. So that's just me trying to understand your situation. I could be completely wrong on like every different account. You can call it an addiction, you can call it a lifestyle, but I think the best way to put it is it's, it's how you generate not just income, but feelings within yourself and other people. Blokes don't have to be mean to you for you to be funny. I want you to understand that. I don't laugh at Lol Tyler one getting picked on online. I don't, I don't find that funny. Yeah. <laughs> Just listen to me, all right? If things are a bit much. Don't take things too far. Not with Twitch chat, not with nobody. The pigeonhole that is online humor is quite miraculous and incredible at times, but at the same time can be quite condemning. <laughs> Redeemable qualities for lol Tyler one, you might be asking. Number one, he's funny. An agent of chaos, random. Everything he does, out of a blink of an eye, it's funny. It's good to watch, so you're funny. Number two, you're cool. 
You got cool style, an air to you. G Fuel, hell yeah. Little Tyler wanna eat G Fuel. I wanna eat G Fuel. Grow three times my size. Ah, ah. Number three, compassionate. I've seen him with a dog, all right, on camera. And he is very compassionate, you know, very like, hey, do you wanna run around? And it's adorable. Little Tyler one's got it within him. A heart of gold, ready to get. Pokimane, heart of gold. Little Tyler one. You got a heart of gold too. All right, guys. So uh, that's really gonna do it. Um, I think that is it for today's episode of ZooTube. Little Tyler One, you're at a lateral ascension. Little Tyler One. I forgot what I was doing. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of ZooTube. My name is Chad, and I'll see you next time.